guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Learning Kitchen, we're gonna make a really fast and super easy but delicious peanut butter pie. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been a long time since I've done a peanut butter pie cake situation, so I wanted to share this with you because it really does require just a handful of ingredients and they're all the right ones, so I'm thrilled to share it with you, and it's such a summertime favorite. You're gonna love it. I've got my oven preheated to 350 because I wanna bake the crust just for a few minutes. And to do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chocolate graham crackers, or you can really use any chocolate biscuits you like. Uh, you can even use Oreo for this if you want to. And I'm just gonna pulse these until they've crumbled really nicely. This looks good, there's just a couple of pieces, but it's fine, it'll get blended in a minute. I'm gonna add some melted butter along with a little bit of sugar. If you are using something like an Oreo cookie or like a really super sweet cookie, then I would omit the sugar. Uh, but because I feel like chocolate graham crackers are really not terribly, terribly sweet, I like to sweeten just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna combine this until the mixture resembles wet sand. All right, now you're gonna take all of your cookie crumble mixture and you're gonna put this in a nine inch pie plate. Put this right back on here because this is what we're going to use to make the filling because I don't like to dirty up any extra things if I don't have to <laughs> because I have to do dishes. I hate doing dishes. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do is I just do this with my hands and then I just take a, you know, if I need to, I'll take a glass or something to help me out. But all I do is just really press this mixture in. Like I said, your hand works beautifully. Um, and it's a little bit crumbly, but you gotta remember, once it goes into the oven, it just kind of bakes and sets, and it is perfect. So, this has to go into my oven for about, I don't know, seven to eight minutes or something like that. You actually start to smell it, because it'll smell really chocolatey and delicious and really intense, and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in there, wash my hands, then we make the filling. My pie crust was in the oven for exactly 10 minutes and I let it cool completely because I don't want to add my filling to the warm crust. Now in the timer, <laughs> in the food processor, we're gonna add some softened cream cheese, soft at room temperature, por favor. Get that all in there. Why am I gonna make a mess? Why do I always make such a mess? And then you're gonna need some peanut butter, some really smooth, delicious, creamy, Peanut butter, add that right in. Ugh, get it all out of there. Leave nothing behind, people, nothing. Then you add your powdered sugar. It's really easy, so good. So, so good, and a good splash of vanilla. This is my homemade vanilla, which I gotta make more of, so please remind me. And I'm gonna put the lid on and get this really nice and creamy. That is what you're looking for and it is already so perfect, I could eat it like straight as it is. Then you need to add some whipped topping or you can just do some heavy cream, but I really feel like the whipped topping works really well. Um, doesn't lose any volume, it's just, it's just good, okay? Now, this is good and all, but we need a little something running through, right? Well, I'm gonna get this really well mixed in. So what I have here are some Reese's candies that I, or chocolates I should say, that I chopped into small pieces. If you can find the real, real teeny, teeny, teeny mini ones, use them whole. Um, but I did like to cut them up a little bit so that they dispersed through the filling better. Oh, look at this, look at this. You know what I'm saying? It is like magic. It is magic, my friend. Magic, I tell you. My friend Matt would go crazy for this because he's the biggest peanut butter lover that I know. So now that you have all that done, move this baby over and you're gonna pour all of this in. How fabulous. Pour all this gorgeousness right in. Smooth it out and you're gonna pop this into the fridge for several, several hours. About, I would say, an hour before you're ready to serve this, you're gonna pop it into the freezer. You don't have to, but there's something almost magical about the fact that this, right at the line of when the 
almost starts to freeze, but not really. So it's not ice cream, but it's not really. You just gotta trust me. Pop this for the last hour, not the whole time, for the last hour before you serve this. Right now I'm gonna pop it into the fridge, but for that last hour, it's gonna go in the freezer. And then, we do whipped cream. And then we do other good stuff. All right, my pie was in the fridge. I actually left it in there overnight. Uh, mom problems, you know. Um, and then I popped it into the freezer for like a half an hour. Don't go over an hour because you don't want to freeze this. But somehow it just kind of, I don't know. It just makes a difference. It's perfect. When I whip up some cream just to put on top, I've got some heavy cream and a couple tablespoons of sugar that I'm going to whip until stiff peaks. And I'll show you what it looks like when it gets there. That looks great. Pop that right on top. Now this, you could use Cool Whip for this. Um, instead of having, you know, instead of making your own whipped cream. But, you know, there kind of is something really special about homemade, slightly sweet whipped cream. You know what I mean? And then I just take the other bit of leftover Reese's that I had that I just chopped up. These were little mini ones that I just cut in half. And then, just because you know, because you know, I, I am who I am, I take a little dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate for this because I feel like the richness of dark chocolate is going to go really well with all of the sweetness. And I just kind of grate that. Boom. Boom. Right on top. I mean, you bring this to somebody's house. They applaud you. They love you. You make this for a birthday party. You'll be their favorite aunt. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, <sighs> admittedly, <laughs> getting a, the first slice out of a pie is always hard, but it's really hard when a pie is this tall and the base is quite crumbly. Don't let that intimidate you. Just know that the first slice is not going to be perfect. So hold on. I'm going to loosen up the sides a little bit. There you go. Bear with mama for a second. The first slice is always a, a tricky one. But you know what? It's a job I'm willing to do. And I, I, I'm really to make the sacrifice of having the first slice of a pie. Particularly a peanut butter chocolate pie. <laughs> it's so good. Look at the look at the thickness of that. Ah. Uh, Look at that. Look at the look at that. Mm, don't you wish? Oh my god. Mm. What? Wow. Wow. Who am I right now? Wow. Complete perfection in every way. It's rich but so well balanced, you just have to make it. LauraInnaKitchen.com has a written recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'll see you next time. I'll see you with this last bite. Well, I'll see you with this bite, not the last one. Bye. <laughs>